the first question is from Abu Safwan. And basically, Abu Safwan is asking about the process, the format, the way one should make tasbih. Is there a specific way of doing so? For example, some say you have to make tasbih on your fingertips. Others say you have to do it on the lines of each finger. So each finger has three lines. By using the thumb, you say subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah on the first pinky finger, for example, and then you move on to the other one and so on. So what is the sunnah? There are hadith for both sides. And it seems that doing it on each finger three times has basis of it when you look at the narrations, the different narrations. Yet the scholars say that Alhamdulillah, it is not limited to one way. So if you do it this way or the other way, whether you do it on your fingertips or on the three joints of each finger, this is totally permissible and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. The other question that may arise is, can we make tasbih on the left hand as well, or should we restrict that only to the right hand? Some scholars say that it should be limited to the right hand, and these are the majority. Other scholars say that you can use the left hand, and it is permissible, and a minority of a minority of the scholars would say that it is mandatory to use both right and left. And the second opinion is the most authentic, which is that you can use both. This is permissible, but it is highly recommended to limit that only to the right hand. Unless you are exceeding a number that you can uh, 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 memorize. For example, if you're going to say, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahu al-mulku wa lahu al wa ala qadir, a hundred times. So I can make five on uh, uh, my right hand and then I can count on my left the sets. So I make five sets of five. These are 25. Then I repeat that again and again and again four times and this is 100. But both ways, inshallah, it is permissible.